Just before you give up, let's dive into critical mistakes that might be stopping your shorts from getting views. Correct these mistakes, and you could see impressive results like these. Nice. Mistake number one, ineffective titles and descriptions. Think of your title and description as the invitation to your party. If they're too vague or misleading, people won't know what to expect, and they might not show up. So instead of just stuffing keywords, craft titles that are catchy and directly reflect the content of your short. Use the description to add context and highlight key points. Also aim to create evergreen content, videos that remain relevant over time. This will continually attract views and help boost the visibility of other shorts on your channel. Mistake number two, ratio problem. Imagine watching a movie where the picture doesn't fit the screen or is cut off. That's what happens when your short isn't in the nine ratio six aspect ratio. Because of this, the algorithm might not recognize your video as a short and won't show it in the shorts feed. The difference between many viral shorts and ones that don't go viral may just be because of how they were uploaded. Make sure when creating your shorts, or even in your video editor, you are not leaving any blank space. Mistake number three, deleting underperforming videos. It really is tempting to delete a short that's not performing well, isn't it? But this can signal spammy behavior to YouTube, potentially resulting in your channel being shadow banned. Instead, it's best to change the visibility to unlisted or private and analyze the short's performance. Use insights from your analytics to understand why it might not be performing well and apply these learnings to future content. Mistake number four, artificial traffic inflation. Many creators try to inflate views by watching their own content on different devices or using VPNs or illegal view websites. But the truth is these actions do more harm than good and don't lead to meaningful engagement. Focus on creating high quality content that genuinely resonates with your audience rather than attempting to cheat the system. Mistake number five, not niching down. If your content lacks focus, YouTube won't know who to show it to. It's like shoving dog food in a grown man's mouth. Exactly, it doesn't make sense. If the algorithm can't group your content into a niche, it will show it to a few different people with varying interests. This causes that initial little spike of views and the flat line that gives us nightmares. Make it easy for the algorithm to understand your content so it can be recommended to viewers who are genuinely interested. Mistake number six, misusing music. Choosing a viral sound just because it's trending might be the biggest reason you're not getting views. Music should flow with your shorts, not just follow trends and enhance the viewer's experience. The perfect balance is a song that fits the content and is still somewhat popular. All right, I fixed these mistakes, or I never even made them to begin with. So why are my views still low? My answer, this may not necessarily be your fault. The algorithm might still be trying to understand your channel and how people react to your content. Low subscriber count can also limit initial exposure. From what I've observed, the potential number of views you initially can get is kind of capped, though not a fixed number, but a range. As your channel grows with time, and gains more trust, your shorts will have a better chance of going viral. Properly interpreting your metrics and improving on it is a crucial step for boosting your views even more. I'll make a video going deeper on this soon, so subscribe not to miss it. When you finally do get views, turning those viewers into subscribers can be challenging, so click this video to learn how to make subscribing mandatory.